So when we talk about variability, we're really talking about, you know, when we're looking at the fetal tracing, how far are these little squiggly lines moving away from the baseline, right? So how how big are they, okay? So there are really four classifications. If they're not moving at all, if the baseline is just flat, we say they're absent, right? So variability is absent when there's a flat baseline, and this is bad. You better do something, okay? If the variability, and again, that is just the increase or decrease from the baseline, if the variability is 1 to 5, that's called minimal variability. And minimal variability is caused by uh, hypoxia, again, it is caused by a sleeping baby, and it can be caused by narcotics. All right. So normal or moderate is sometimes called is from 6 to 25. And if that is if that's the case, if you have a moderate or normal uh, variability, you can be reasonably certain that the pH of the baby is greater than or equal to 7.25. And I know 7.25 seems awfully low, but 7.25 um, is the lower threshold for um, fetal acidosis. So if you're having very good variability, moderate variability, normal variability, uh, you know, you'll hear all those terms used. You can be reasonably assured that the pH is greater than or equal to 7.25. Finally, we have variability of more than 25, and this is called marked or severe variability. And this is usually, guess what, fetal hypoxia, right? So really, variability is, is a really easy thing to look at. It's a really easy thing to determine, and it is... Um, simply just knowing these definitions. So it's important to know these definitions um, and you can just grab variability right off the strip. Okay. In the next um, section we're going to talk about accelerations.